Hello, I'm Greg Davis and this is Taskmaster. Today our five competitors will pass the halfway point of the series. It's still anyone's game, but today's points could really make a difference. Who will be triumphantly holding this ruggedly handsome trophy, high and mighty, at the end of the series? <laughs> Only time will tell. Let's meet our rivals now. They are Dot Brown, <laughs> Joe Wilkinson, John Richardson, Catherine Ryan and Richard Osman. To my left, as always, is Alex Horn. Why are you here, Alex? I, uh, eye candy and admin. It's sort of, um... <laughs> so I'm sort of the Richard Osman of the show, but we also have a Richard Osman on the show, so there's probably too much Richard Osman in the show. <laughs> I think it feels Richard Osman heavy. Yeah. But that's what I do. What are they playing for tonight? Well, I'm so glad you asked that. Tonight, uh, we've asked them to bring in their best dinner party guest. OK? So whoever brings in the best guest at a dinner party will win the first points of the show. Okay. And the, the winner of the show will win a dinner with those guests. What a lovely idea. Thank you. I love dinner and I hate boring people. Mm -hmm. Joe, let's start with you. <laughs> um, uh, I've brought along Henry, who is... Uh, <laughs> uh, ..Britain's sixth strongest man. <laughs> and how do you know Henry? Uh, work out at the same place. <laughs> Unlikely mates. Um, Doc, who did you bring in? A, a DJ and music producer extraordinaire. Oh, yeah? Uh, the Last Skeptic. That's his name. That's his name. The last the, skeptic. His first name's the. The last yeah. skeptic. <laughs> I was, yeah. he, he, was going to bring in the penultimate skeptic. That was... <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't judge people by their appearances, but I would have said he was DJ Car Thief. <laughs> 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 um, Richard, who have you brought? My guest is this lovely Great Dane Fraser. Ah. Who just yes. Yes. The most yes. Wonderful oh, dog you'll Fraser. ever meet, and walks in there in, in the park near me, and it's just, oh. Lovely. I think it would get on with, uh, with uh, The Last Skeptic. Mm. <laughs> so long as The Last Skeptic has poo bags in his pocket, which I suspect he does. <laughs> it was a toss of the coin for me between The Last Skeptic and my mum. Mm. And now I'm so glad, because you lot just would have cussed my mum for, like, <laughs> ten minutes. I would never have cussed your mum unless she looked like a common criminal. <laughs> <laughs> you would have cussed my mum for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, John. Well, I think you want someone who's got good stories to tell, someone who's funny, someone who likes food, but not, you know, to the point where he's going to eat 48 chicken breasts and 12 eggs while you're having dinner. Uh, you want someone who likes a drink but isn't an alcoholic. You want someone you look up to. Uh, my guest for the dinner party is that guy. Oh, oh you charmer. I was... I would have bet my life that was going to be a picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, who are you bringing to the dinner party? The most important thing is family. I haven't seen my baby sister in a long time. She's like a better version of me that everyone likes. She can do the splits. She is a bartender. I have flown my sister Carrie in from Canada. Whoa. Aww. Oh. She's so cool. She's been to the Playboy Mansion. She has tons of stories. No filter. You'd yeah. love her. Great. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to having <laughs> dinner with her. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that happens whenever anyone says Playboy, Playboy Mansion. Mansion. <laughs> Do you want to rate them? Yeah. Who's your favourite dinner party guest there? I haven't decided whether I'm going to the party yet, so that's going last. <laughs> um, I love strongest man in Britain. I probably. really... I want to meet that guy. Yeah. Because we can talk about our six-packs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put him number one. And I'm going to put your sister, because I've taken your word for it that she can do the split. <laughs> <at number three. laughs> I'm going to put the DJ at number three, because I think I've been very rude about a man I've never met. And I'm putting the dog at number four. I, although I love dogs, that's my final ruling. You're Let's in move last. On. Hey? You're in last. I'm place. in last. You're yeah. the worst person. No, fine. Well, I haven't decided whether I'm attending, <laughs> so I can't put myself high on the list. If I, if I am attending, I'm going to be <laughs> awesome at that part. <laughs> <laughs> OK, fine. So the winner was uh, Joe Wilkinson. That's right. Unbelievable. <laughs> OK, let's get the first proper task underway. Alex, what's next? It's, it's more who's next. Have a look. All right. Hiya. Hi. Hello there. Hello. Are you the, the mayor? I am. Like, for real, the mayor? The, for real, the, the real, mayor. real, real mayor. Yeah. Hi. Good to meet you. And you, and you. Nice to see you again. Nice to Hi, meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. You're very young for a mayor. Yes, yes, I am. What's CLLR? Councillor. Councillor. 
I'm Richard. How are you? Hi, Richard. Nice to meet you, Peter. Peter. Nice to meet you too. Absolute pleasure to meet you. You're the mayor. I am indeed. Oh goodness me. We look splendid. <laughs> as um, as your day been? All right. Not bad at all. How's Smith. your day been? <laughs> it's an honour, I guess. I don't know if I've, I haven't met a mayor before of anywhere. So. Impress this mayor. You have a maximum of twenty minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> you have a maximum of twenty minutes. <laughs> You're easily impressed, Peter. No. Very good. Very good. Get out of here. Before we get stuck into stuff, interesting. Uh, the two ends of the line. Very different approaches to authority. Doc, I'm honoured. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Richard Osman, surprisingly obsequious. It's good to be polite, right? No, it's really check sweet. It, Greg. It matches the title, doesn't it? Because I'm honoured. I guess the mayor. Of Cheshire. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Can we see uh, how some people did? Here is Joe and Doc. I guess. <laughs> you really the mayor? I am absolutely 100% the mayor, yeah. Ooh. Okay, Peter. All right. Okay. I thought I'd think of something. <laughs> That's quite tough. I've never had to impress a mayor before. I know I go from rags to riches If you would only say you can And though my pocket may be empty I'd be a millionaire Um, I got you, uh, I got you something. I, um, um, 42, 42 Calippos. Lovely. <laughs> eight pairs of strong lager. Fantastic. Is there any significance to the 42 Calippos? That's all they had. That's all they had. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, Peter. Open your eyes and I'll open the door. Tell me you're mine evermore. Can you find? Yeah, why not? My face. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much. Madame, thank you very much. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> Have you got anything else on the impressive scale apart from clippos and beer? 15 quid. <laughs> That's all I've got there. <laughs> Bribing a politician, eh? Yeah, it's always worked, isn't it? <laughs> Good health. Very interesting for a very good rapper to mm. choose to. Uh... Yeah, but uh, Greg, the I'm bonnet. I'm going to say Molester song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bonnet said show tunes to me, to me you know? <laughs> the mayor's hair said Yeah, show his, his, his hair said show tunes. I don't think he'd appreciate a rap. His hair said clippos to me. <laughs> <laughs> we see next, Catherine and Richard. Maybe. Yeah, we'll go to the other end of the line. Yeah, Catherine yeah. and Richard. <laughs> Uh, so, so impress you. Amazing. I'll tell you what, I'll, why don't I write you a, might write you a little poem well, about good. Chesham. Hello, Your Honour. Welcome back. All right, so I took some time to think about what might impress you. And this is a cup of tea. Oh, thank you very much. You're very welcome, because I know the language of this country of yours that you are preside over. I know that you do marketing for education, yep. so you love kids. And I thought, um, in my school, we used to have to sing O Canada in the morning. Okay. So I thought, whatever your kids do in schools, let's bin that. And instead, they could have sort of a, an anthem to you. Fine. Yeah, so I would like to pitch that to you now. Great. Listen up, kids, we're going to bin the Lord's Prayer. Big ups to the big guy, that's Chesham's Town Mayor. That's Peter Hudson, you know that you can trust him, yeah. <laughs> Is he 
sexy, affirmative, brown hairs, bright eyes, conservative, a volunteer, but that's not all. Three kids, but just one came from his balls. That's Peter Hudson. You know that you can trust him, yeah. <laughs> Recreation and the arts is general interest. Food and darts organizes dial a ride. A politician with nothing to hide. That's Peter Hudson. <laughs> you know that you can trust him, yeah. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> You've been on Google. That's Peter Hudson. Everybody. <laughs> you know that you can trust him, yeah. And I put on some hip-hop trousers as well. <laughs> it didn't go unnoticed. That's Peter Hudson. You know that you can trust him. One fine day to Chesham Fair, I ventured forth to meet the mayor. Strong of jaw and fine of feature, the king of Chesham, my new friend Peter. <laughs> Peter's on our list of crushes in this town of boots and town of brushes. Foes he has many, but he'll just kick them. From Aylesbury, Chartridge and High Wycombe of Amersham, we don't give two <laughs> Chesham, third biggest town in Bucks. So, well done. OK, let's clear this up very quickly. Peter does not preside over the whole country. <laughs> it's just uh, an I area of it. Did. After that anthem, he should do. Yeah, I've spent 30 years learning to twerk like that. <laughs> well, the twerking was amazing, and I'm sure I speak for the whole room when I say, jugglers, we don't give a f about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a stat here. Over 30% of people can juggle, but over 75% of people hate juggling, so that includes 5% of the people who can uh, do <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we need to see how impressive John Richardson can be and then hear judgement from the mayor himself. All to come in part two. See you then. <laughs> Welcome back to Taskmaster, where four professional comedians and fact-finder Richard Osman <laughs> are <laughs> playing... <laughs> For the ultimate dining experience. Alex, what's going down? Well, uh, they've been trying to impress the Mayor of Chesham, Peter Hudson, Peter Hudson. obviously, yeah. And uh, so far they've bought him alcohol and rapped and sang at him. And we've just got John to see. Do you want to see him now? No, oh. let's... I'll just come last. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really want to see I this. I feel physically <laughs> sick. <laughs> I'm not going to watch, so I'm going to... for the duration of this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's OK. Are you going to do this? We're going to show it, I'm OK, afraid. I'll see you. <laughs> Are you hungry? I've just eaten. Oh, yeah. Um, are you into sport? No. No? No. No, built for pleasure, not for speed. <laughs> are you into sort of circus skills? Not something I spent a lot of time thinking about, to be fair. What do you... What do you... Oh, God, I just can't think... Do you want to see a video of a whale? <laughs> a video of a whale? Oh, yeah, I saw a whale in America. What do you think of that? <laughs> what, what do you think that is? <laughs> I tried to think. Uh... Is that a sandwich? It's a pistachio eclair. A pistachio? That is actually yeah. quite impressive. Yeah! Pistachio. I do yeah. like pistachios. Quite impressed by a pistachio, pistachio eclair. eclair. Did you make the pistachio eclair? No, but I bought oh, it. so it's less impressive. Well, you? You've already <laughs> registered quite impressed. <laughs> I, I sometimes can make a noise of a dolphin. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not it. <laughs> no, that's not it. It's gone now, since I hit puberty. <laughs> I'm going to end up singing you a song, aren't I, Peter? Yeah, so we all know that's where it's going to end up. I'm going to end up screaming a song into your face. <laughs> I just do not want to sing you a song. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like if I sing and dance in here, yeah. I have to live with myself and my wife has to live with me. That is true. And that is in jeopardy if I sing. Uh, if I Google impressive things... Holy... This hasn't gone how I hoped, Peter. I'm not going to lie to you. Desperado, <laughs> why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fences for so long now. And you're a hard one. I know that you've got your reasons. These things that are pleasing you can hurt you sometime. <laughs> Still less impressed than the <laughs> photo of an eclair. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. OK. <laughs> oh, God.
Interesting, isn't it? Because you could argue that John's got a much better voice than Doc. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> There's no question about it. And yet it was uh, far more embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> when you're an entertainer for a living and the task is impress someone, oh, and that's what you end up doing, <laughs> you have to ask some serious <laughs> questions about what... I mean, I charge people to come and see me. <laughs> I you can't do, do that now. Do you do the eclair stuff on stage? <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, and everyone that's been on, he was impressed by one of the things I showed him. Yeah, yeah. well, we, we have got some exact scores from the mayor. We got him to score it. So this is. Yeah, this is we'll, uh... we'll see how impressed the mayor was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think uh, for John, I would rate him at five out of ten. Dot rounded very well. I would rate it at seven out of ten. Uh, on the impressive scale, I would rate Catherine eight out of ten. Uh, I would say the most impressive thing about Joe's attempt was the 42 uh, ice lollies and uh, eight cans of strong lager. <laughs> I think I would rate that as a seven uh, for impressiveness. For Richard Osmond, I would award eight out of ten on the impressiveness scale. Um, I thought both the poem and the juggling combined were particularly impressive. <laughs> so you've got some work to do, Greg. So uh, he couldn't split these two or these two. So first of all, who do you want to put into fourth? These two both got seven, these two both got eight. Oh, mm. that's really difficult, isn't it? Because mm. I've really upset the jugglers <laughs> already. Mm, but I'm going to have to put Catherine ahead of Richard, I'm afraid. OK, so Catherine's in the... first place. Easy choice um, between those two. Who doesn't want 42 Calippos, yes, right? <laughs> so Joe's there. So it goes Catherine, that. Richard, Joe, Doc, and then John. Bam! Now it. Who's doing best so far, Alex? Well, Richmond is in third. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in third? R Richmond Osmond. Richard Osmond. Richmond Osmond. <laughs> yeah. uh, second place, we've got Joe Wilkinson. Oh. And in first place, Catherine Ryan. Oh. That is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Another task, then, I think. OK, this one is a beautiful, arty one, like you asked for. Oh. OK. Hello. Hi, Catherine. Hi. How are you? I'm well, how are you? Make the most unexpected silhouette on this screen. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Use these words, like unexpected. OK, most unexpected silhouette on that screen, right? That's difficult. I've only ever been able to do that creepy little, um, you know, that little guy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's just weird. Everybody can do him. Yeah, that's not unexpected. I mean, literally everybody. Move about a bit. <laughs> it should be a punchline, the reveal. Oh, that's good. That's nice. He's got a good profile, hasn't he, Alex? You could be on coins, Alex, I think. I mean, what does unexpected mean? Okay. All right, I'm on it. Yep. Yeah. That's what unexpected means. I see. <laughs> yeah, so the idea was that they built up stuff on one side of the screen, so the silhouette was unexpected on the other. Yeah. So we need to see the things and think, oh, I wonder what that's going to be, and then be surprised uh, by it. <laughs> that's the idea, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see what Doc used on the, on the other side of the oh, silhouette? Yeah, I really do. Out. OK, so he did he this. <laughs> so he used a saw, a skull, a sort of blood spatter. Yeah, I mean, what I'm expecting is... <laughs> This to look like he's uh, attacked a deer <laughs> and uh, to be blood on the floor. So, as long as it's not that... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, he's, en he's entitled it Why, and this is his silhouette. OK. I'm a little less worried. <laughs> it was a very nice image. Was it unexpected? No. no. <laughs> Do you want to see what Richard used for his uh, silhouette? Oh, more on. than anything. It's more intriguing, I think. So he's used a bin lid, a bowl, and a little statuette. What do you expect? And a post-it note there. Could and a post-it note, yeah. yeah. I genuinely have no idea what to expect. Well, that's exciting. Good start, isn't it? Mm. OK, well, here is Richard's silhouette. It's one small step for man. One Okay, we've had a problem here. This is 
Just a second, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. I mean, honestly, I think that's uh, awesome. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Documentary then... footage of what actually happened. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at what Joe used. Joe used a sort of more simple technique. Uh... Joe used some cardboard. He dangled some cardboard using fishing wire, and then he used his own breath to Ooh. animate it. Well, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Okay. Well, it, it's this. That'd be really inventive if I didn't think it would had been fueled by many years of drug use. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what Catherine and John's silhouettes are, but I have to because there are now some adverts. That's how it works. See you after that. Welcome back to Taskmaster, where our five competitors are competing to have dinner with the last sceptic and me. Yes, they are. <laughs> and right now, they're making me some silhouettes. Yes, we've seen some quite surprising silhouettes. We get to see John and Catherine, and uh, I thought we'd see Catherine's behind-the-screen picture first. <laughs> so these were her raw ingredients. A lot oh, going on. Yeah. It's ambitious or a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were meant to use a bunch of crazy stuff. You did use a bunch of crazy stuff. Any ideas what it is, Greg? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's, it looks like Karate Kid. You're not far off. This is a silhouette. The image again? Yes. Yeah. Was there a scene before The Lion King was fully edited where <laughs> someone holds up a severed horse head? <laughs> <laughs> it was unexpected. Was that? I mean, she used uh, clothes pegs, food dye, marmite, golf balls, hair clips, coffee, chilli sauce, and she made the African savannah. So it's, I think it's unexpected. It, it's unexpected if I recognise that as the African savannah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I recognise that as a legend. <laughs> well, there is one more person who could potentially rescue it, Mr. John Richardson. I can't oh. watch this. So. <laughs> well, John, John's was nearly beautiful. Let's have a look. This is what he used. He used a red balloon, a mannequin, and some blue tack. <laughs> and he toiled for 15 minutes and created this ballet come opera come art. Here it is. Oh, no! I lost my balloon! <laughs> but I came here to lose my balloon. <laughs> it, it's uh, the story of a boy's journey to manhood. <laughs> He recognises, you know, he's enjoying playing with the balloon. The balloon leaves him, mm. and then he becomes fully chumethant. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know losing a, ba a balloon flying away is the Least saddest thing that can happen to of anyone. Of course, it's awful. And yet course. I've made that somehow an erotic, <laughs> which I think is unexpected. I thought it was really, really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, the, uh, we've got the Lion King, the moon attack, the acid <laughs> house face. <laughs> the animal attack and the and the balloon tumescent. It's like one of those really <laughs> terrible years at the Oscars, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to put Doc in last place. Sorry, Doc. I'm gonna it was awful. It was awful. I'm going to put the Lion King in uh, fourth place because whilst you used a lot of interesting things, it didn't look like the Lion King. <laughs> I really enjoyed it, mate. Thank you. Really that nice. Means a lot. The moon attack was incredibly accurate, but it could not beat the beauty of a journey <laughs> of a boy to manhood. Okay. John Richardson wins it. <laughs> Alex, what's the next task? Uh, we've got a, uh, a very quick task, and this one's just for you. I think you'll like this one. Oh. Hi, Doc. 
pigeonhole. Oh, look at that. Got my name on it. Okay. Hello. Oh, yeah. That's money, isn't it? Yes. Buy a gift for the taskmaster. You have 20 weeks. 20 weeks? Cool. It's doable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So 20 quid. I need to buy him something that's going to please him, anger him, no clues. 20 weeks, 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. I don't, I can spend more than this, can I? Oh, that'd be nice. Or less. <laughs> Whatever you think would please the taskmaster. Right. 20 quid gift. How well do you know the taskmaster, Jack? Greg. Never heard of him. <laughs> we were supposed to socialise together recently, but he uh, said he was working. So maybe I'll get him uh, a diary so he can plan his time better and not let people down at the last minute. <laughs> can I buy him a range of gifts? Yes, he can. Who is the thought? Excellent. Well, I'll clear something up straight away before we see the gifts, and that is I was supposed to meet John recently. We were going to go and watch the darts together in January. Mm -hmm. Sadly, I genuinely have a work commitment. I wrote to him, um, profusely <laughs> apologised, and he didn't reply. So <laughs> I am glad that I'm not hanging around with passive-aggressive people like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not coming across as passive-aggressive, mate. <laughs> OK, hey, Richard, talk us through your gift. Oh, OK, well, listen, I know you love darts, and also I thought 20 oh, quid is probably not uh, as much as somebody should be spending on you. So I made a series of rash bets uh, on, the, uh, on the PDC Premier League darts, uh, but they came off, which is rather handy. Let's take a look at a couple of other things here. Uh, Dave Chisnell came off for me, wow. White Lewis and Van Gerwen came oh, off for me God. at 9-1. Uh, so I got £250 and I gave that in your name to uh, a lovely charity called Child's Eye who look after abandoned children in uh, Uganda and it has bought them three months' <laughs> worth of... Uh... <laughs> 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 three months' worth of uh, looking after children who have been abandoned on the streets of Kampala and they've got a little message for you here as well to say thank you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Taskmaster. I am Harriet, the foster carer in Uganda, working with Child's Eye Foundation. Your gift gives Annabelle my love, care and protection until we find her a forever family. Thank you, Taskmaster. <laughs> Worthy, creative. A lot of people wouldn't put that into last place. Who's next? <laughs> Joe. Let's, <laughs> let's see what Joe's brought. <laughs> Is it a toaster? <laughs> I took a pump. Yeah. You might be into water skiing. <laughs> nice, aren't they? Are they antique? They're antique, mate. Yeah. Oh, are they? Probably, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm not, I can't guarantee they float. <laughs> 20 quid. Yeah. Really nice gift. Right. Well done. Cheers. Yep. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> John, next. Yeah. So this is a cookbook, Ooh. but it's recipes from films, so they're fictional things, but it teaches you how to make, like, a big kahuna burger from uh, the Reservoir Dogs film, Lambus bread from Lord of the Rings, butter beer from Harry Potter, and that was only twelve ninety nine. So I got you seven hundred and one penny sweets. <laughs> I mean, I don't like the cookbook. I'll be honest with you. I don't like <laughs> that sort of novelty bull. But you pulled it back with the sweets. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Uh, shall we see Doc Brown's gift? Yes. Okay. I don't want to talk about it, I just want you to open it and see if it means anything to you, because I went out on a limb. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. It was, it was essentially based on something you let slip in an interview. Oh, mm. no. um, Whilst under caution. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great. It's a game that me and um, Mark Andrews and my sister made up when we were kids called Mad Helmet Murderer. <laughs> 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 That's right. Which uh, involved um, my sister, who was 11 at the time, wearing this helmet, and then we would jump out with cricket bats and smash, <laughs> <laughs> and smash her over the head. <laughs> it's a great present. <laughs> You've got one more gift left. 
Oh, one Catherine. more from Catherine. So, what's your name? Greg. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> I changed it. <laughs> you a little square foot of land that entitles you to a lordship and you are now Lord Greg Davies. Yes! <laughs> For 20 quid. Yes, it's like this weird loophole because you guys are so weird and all like OBEs, they buy that anyway. It's actually uh, toxic wasteland. <laughs> you know, it's just a way of exploiting your ridiculous system. <laughs> It's a way of exploiting the ridiculous the system. system in this Your country. Lordship. Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Your Lordship. Tough, isn't it? So, mm. whose was worst? I'm putting Richardson in last place. Oh. Son of a holy Lordship. <laughs> <laughs> Skis next. Uh. Oh, man. It's so tough, because we all know I should put Richard first. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say, to make it easier for you, the, the, the gift has already been given, and it's done its good. I'm very comfortable being in third place. Yeah. Oh. But... It makes me look like a <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> They're going to be so excited when they find out their £250 has come from a lord. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> OK. I'm going to put Osman in first place. Oh. Oh. I've got two. It's not my public. <laughs> 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 um, but I'm going to quickly follow it with Catherine's lordship because I have got a boner for being a lord. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then uh, Doc Brown, you know, thanks for doing a bit of research. Thank <laughs> thanks for making me think you care, Doc. <laughs> okay. so, so they welcome my lordship. Lord Thank you. That's it. I feel like another task. This one, Lord Davies, is really good. <laughs> Hello. If you stay right there. What fresh hell is this? Hi! How are you doing? I'm well, how are you? <laughs> oh, good. Cool. Cheers. Did you know that you were going to see me? No, I thought that was like strictly against the rules. Well, <laughs> well, well. The plot thickens. Yes! Hi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? <laughs> you doing, Joseph? Yeah. Hello, Hello there. Hello. Hey, John. How are, how you? are you? This is nice. I didn't know you were coming. I didn't know you this were is coming. Great. Hey. 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 So, this is a team task. You're going to be working together. Hello, Alex. Who it is? Hello, mate. Hello. How are you? What? Hello there. What's this Hello. all about? Oh, he's, he's from a previous series. Josh is going to help you try to win five points each. This is like when the three Doctor Who's met. <laughs> you could all win this, OK? Or you could all lose it. There's no individual points here, so good luck. Uh, behind me, you'll see the Taskmaster outbuildings. Ace, two and three. So I've got three cards. Oh, OK. Yeah. You're yeah. going to pick one each, OK? Yeah. And then go to your outbuilding. All right. Good luck, gents. Well played. Good luck. Have a good one. Good luck. What have we got? Box of veg. Black headband. Possibly blindfold. Oh, oh no! Just seen a blindfold. Am I reading this to those guys? Whatever you want, Josh. Ready? Put on this blindfold. Then instruct only the person closest to you to open their task. Joe. Hello. You can open your task. Thank you. Richard? Yes, Josh? Open your task. All right, geese. Put the earplugs in your ears and the ear protectors over the earplugs, then continue reading. Josh? Yeah? I'm just putting earplugs in my ears and I... then headphones as well, so I'm not going to be able to hear anything from this moment on, OK? <laughs> There's music. You must remain within your bandstand. Instruct the next person to open their task. John, can you open your task? Do not read this out loud. What does it say, John? <laughs> if you don't understand anything, you can ask me something. Oh, I understand perfectly well. OK. You're a madman. Just like when the three Doctor Who's met. It's not, <laughs> it's not at all. <laughs> Lovely to see Josh Whittakam back, mm -hmm. a man who knows how to buy a gift. He has my name tattooed on his foot from the last <laughs> series, of course. <laughs> Little friend for John. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, well, we need to still even it up. So it's the first team task of the series. Yeah. And obviously one of them can't see, one of them can't hear, one of them can't speak. OK, stop right there. Let's have a quick break and conclude things afterwards. See you soon. Welcome back to the final part of the show, where one of our contestants is dangerously close to winning a ticket to the most awkward dinner party ever. But first, we have a task to complete. Do you want to see how Catherine, Doc and Joe coped? Yes, I do. OK, and this should make some sense of the task. I can't read that. I can come there, but my thing says I have to stay. Text. Do you have my number? Do you want my number? Oh, seven. What's my number? <laughs> I need a potato in here. But I can't talk or leave. OK. I, I can't hear, but have you got a potato? I've definitely got parsnips and carrots. Have you got a potato? OK, uh, hold on. Um... Show me, show me. Is that, is that a potato? Doesn't that feel looks like, like an one. onion. An onion? <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm rummaging through. Uh, That's a parsnip. <laughs> hold stuff up. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no point in telling you what I'm doing, is there? I just realised. How much stuff have you got? Yes. Right. Are what? you allowed to leave your bandstand? I, uh, well, I've not been told I can't. Right. Walk forward. Right, turn right. Oh, go, oh, no, look, sorry, other way, other way. Turn a bit to your left. Now walk forward. Keep going. Keep going. Turn a little bit to your right. That's it. Now go forward. That's it. Keep going. You're going I'm... straight towards her. There's nothing in the way. I'm, I'm guessing Catherine's not allowed Keep to speak. Keep going. Think there. She can't talk, by the way. Yeah, OK, she I get that. She can't talk. One more yard. So you can't talk. You need a potato. Is that it? Is that all we needed yeah. to do? Yeah! Oh, awesome. Well did done! Did we do it in time? Well, you did it. It's, it's a race against the other team. Oh, Osman's got oh, no legs. Oh, finished! <laughs> it's interesting to note that seeing Joe with a woolen hat and headphones on shouting loudly in a park didn't seem... <laughs> <laughs> didn't seem that out of place. <laughs> uh, it's now the return of Josh with Richard and John. I can't see a single thing. <laughs> Josh. Hello. John needs a potato. John needs a potato? Yeah. OK. There's no potato so far. I don't think there is, there's a potato. I've got a potato. Richard? Richard? Uh, John? You're doing well, Josh. Can you hear me? You can walk quickly from there. You've got a clear run. Just keep directing me. Slightly to your left. That's it. A bit more. Yeah, that's it. Keep going. You can go quicker. A little bit to your right, Josh. Can I go quicker? And a bit more to your right. A little bit more to your right. That's it. Now you can speed up. <laughs> oh, so there's nothing in your way here for ages. That's it. Now straight forward. You're about two metres away from John. John? Keep going. That's it. Keep going. Hey, Stop well the clock. Is that it? Great. Well done. Well done. Very sweet scene. One lovely little boy giving another lovely little boy a potato. <laughs> <laughs> I reread really really that text quite regularly because me and Richard text every now yeah. and again about football and things. And it's funny looking back over a text <laughs> it changed like, oh, I hope Fulham win tonight. And then just a text that says, 10 a.m., I need a potato. <laughs> 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 well, team one, Doc Catherine and Joe. Uh, scored five minutes and forty nine seconds. Oh, oh. That sound good. I sort of got I've got a figure in my head of about five minutes and twenty seconds. Yeah, because you probably internally timed it, you freak. <laughs> 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 well, the previous winner of Taskmaster and these two got fifty nine seconds and four minutes. Oh. Oh. So the winners were John Richardson and Richard Osman. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, Close. It's exciting. And now our five competitors need to head up to the stage because it's the final task of the show. <laughs> so 
Go on, would you read out the task, please? Well, I'll try. Do you want to break the seal and then take it, take it from there? Holy cow. Um, <laughs> throw the rabbits into your hat. The person with the most rabbits in their hat after 100 seconds wins. It's Good. throw the rabbits into the hat. The belts must stay around your wrists. You get one point per rabbit in your hat. OK? <laughs> Good luck. You've got 100 seconds. Starting... <laughs> Off you go. Got <laughs> Brown has got all the men. No! <laughs> I'm having a lovely time. <laughs> John, 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 bend over. You've got five seconds left, John. I mean, please, come and join me down here and let's try and make sense of that madness. OK. Um... <laughs> right, let's cut to it. Who behatted the most rabbits? Well, it was an interesting task because... Controversial, right? Well, when we planned it, you and I... Yeah. We didn't think they'd take their hats off. We didn't. <laughs> no, we thought they'd do it like John did it. Yeah, in a sporting way. Yes. <laughs> John kept his hat on, won the crowd, but only got four rabbits into his hat. Ah. Yeah. Richard only got seven in because someone stole a lot of his rabbits. <laughs> Doc and Joe both got 12, but Catherine Ryan got 15 rabbits oh. in total. Oh. Uh, what's that mean for our scores? Well, um, after all that... Yeah? ..it's changed hands and Catherine Ryan has taken the lead! <laughs> Catherine wins. Well done. And uh, it's worthy of note, a mid-table result. Yeah. An unlikely mid-table result Thanks. for Joe. Mm. And just by the way, uh, Catherine Ryan has also taken lead in the, in the whole series. She is now the series leader. Wow. Holy moly. Thanks. Just in time for dinner. Please go up and collect your prize! Thank you. What have we learned today? We all sum up with something we've learned, and we learned lots of things, but we only learned one important thing today, and that's... I'm a lord. <laughs> Let's hear some more clapping for tonight's winner, Catherine Ryan. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Good night. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!